2009, the Daisan Shinso Maru, a 10-ton trawler, was fishing in Tokyo Bay. When the fishermen hauled in their nets, the nets were full of giant jellyfish. When the weight of the jellyfish broke the net, the thousands of pounds of jellyfish cascaded onto the ship's deck and capsized the boat. The three fishermen aboard were thrown into the sea, but were fortunately rescued by another trawler. The jellyfish were Nomura jellyfish, and lots of them. These jellyfish are only one species of gelatinous creatures that have roamed Earth's oceans for the last 500 million years. In the 20th century, the gigantic Nomura jellyfish would mysteriously appear in the East Asian seas about once every 40 years. Starting at the turn of this century, however, large groups of jellyfish called blooms began making more frequent visits, and recently, since 2005, they have appeared every year. The Nomura jellyfish is one of the largest jellyfish known to exist. What is odd about these jellyfish is that in recent years they have grown to gigantic sizes. The crown or head of the Nomura jellyfish, now inundating the Japanese coastline, measures seven feet across, and they weigh 450 pounds, heavier than a sumo wrestler, and their tentacles can measure 100 feet or more in length. There are many different jellyfish species in the world, at least 350, and possibly over 2,000. Jellyfish range in size from about a millimeter to two meters in diameter. Their stings are extremely painful, and in some cases have caused death. Death from a Nomura jellyfish, however, is rare. Jellyfish are free-swimming gelatinous animals and are a normal element of the marine ecosystems. Fish and jellyfish, however, compete for plankton. The Nomura jellyfish normally lives between China and Japan, migrating from the Yangtze River to the Yellow Sea. They float across the Sea of Japan on the Tsushima Current. In summer, when the water is warmer, they move to the coasts of Japan and Korea. Even with their huge size, a few of these animals isn't much of a concern. However, their populations have been exploding since 2002, and they are now wreaking havoc on the Japanese fishing industry. Giant jellyfish are overpopulating the world's oceans, especially around Japan. They weigh down and damage fishing nets, and their toxins sting fish and make the fish inedible. In a country where fish is one of the economy's mainstays, the results have been disastrous. Fishermen in some areas of the country stopped going out altogether, and many cited an 80% drop in their income. Nobody is 100% sure what is causing the invasion. Some scientists believe that it is because the water temperatures in the area have increased by 1.89 degrees Fahrenheit, which is better for jellyfish to breed. Overfishing is likely another factor. Fewer numbers of fish means less competition for the jellyfish, and fishing nets is killing off large numbers of sea turtles, a natural predator of jellyfish. Throughout the world, we are seeing rising numbers of jellyfish, and they are often found in areas heavily impacted by humans through pollution, overfishing, and warming waters. Losses from marauding mobs of giant jellyfish in the Sea of Japan typically total hundreds of millions of dollars during a single bloom season. No one knows for sure why blooms of giant jellyfish in Asian waters are becoming more common, or where the Nomura jellyfish originate, but Dr. Shi Ichiyue from Hiroshima University in Higashi, Hiroshima has identified a possible scenario. The availability of the zooplankton is just everywhere. They use that strategy rather than attacking a large prey. In the previous century, uh, their bloom uh, happens once nearly a 40 years cycle. That means uh, one time per nearly 40 years, okay? However, uh, from the turn of this century, uh, it becomes almost annual event. That means uh, it, 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 it occurs almost every year. 
For the past four summers, these massive sea creatures have mysteriously materialized in the Yellow Sea off China and the Korean Peninsula before drifting across into the Sea of Japan. One theory suggests that Chinese coastal waters are currently being degraded. This degradation is associated with environmental pressures generated by the 800 million people who currently live along the coasts of the East Asian Marginal Seas, or EMS, which include Bohai, Yellow Sea, East China, and Japan Seas. Many of these environmental pressures on the EMS promote the proliferation of giant jellyfish. Dr. Uye has conducted laboratory studies of the larvae of giant jellyfish, which live as tiny polyps that can reproduce asexually before developing into free-swimming jellyfish. Distributed quite widely in East Asian waters, not only the Chinese and Korean waters, but also Japanese waters. They come uh, to uh, the Pacific side of the Japanese coast. So uh, their distribution is really wide. Dr. Uye has documented the movement of young giant jellyfish from Chinese waters into the Sea of Japan on currents and their astounding growth along the way. He suggests that the rising water temperatures may increase the rate of polyp reproduction and speed their development into free-swimming jellyfish. Populations of predators and competitors of jellyfish, which usually help control the jellyfish populations, are being eliminated by overfishing. The flow of runoff containing fertilizers and sewage into Chinese coastal waters promotes the growth of tiny plankton, which provide food for the giant jellyfish. The Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River may be changing the chemistry of Chinese coastal waters in ways that support jellyfish blooms. It is thought that the amount of phosphorus and nitrogen in these waters make an ideal breeding ground for the Nomura jellyfish. These waters have probably also been further enriched in nutrients due to the increased farming activity. The development of Chinese ports and harbors has provided the Nomura larvae with new places to attach themselves. The area near the confluence of the polluted Yangtze River with the East China Sea is believed to provide a breeding ground for giant jellyfish. Jellyfish are, however, notoriously difficult to study so there isn't much research available. The Nomura jellyfish have become such a problem in Japan that an official committee has been formed to combat them. Some scientists believe that these sea animals could serve as a key indicator for the health of the oceans, so scientists are now building a database of jellyfish. Scientists are aware that they must take care when gathering specimens for research since a 450-pound jellyfish can capsize their small research boats when retrieving the specimen. It is very difficult to get rid of these giants because whenever they feel under attack or threatened, Nomura jellyfish release billions of sperm or eggs which attach to corals or rocks, detach, and grow into more jellyfish millions at a time. It is estimated that the current bloom of these giant Nomura jellyfish located in and around the entire coast of Japan and the Sea of Japan number in excess of 500 billion. Despite numerous attempts, the problem of these giant Nomura jellyfish keeps getting bigger and some viable method will have to be found quickly to deal with them.